It's serious. And silly. Seriously. Silly, but serious. But silly. With Scott and Sheila and Vanessa. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. Guys, if we guys, created guys. this show for one reason, is mm -hmm. so that we can speak to my next, our next guest. Um, if you know two things about me, first thing is, I've name dropped The Bachelor many, many times on this show. And number two, and more importantly, is I like, I love good, kind people. And I think this person um, fits both those categories, but especially number two. So I was going to say welcome, but I will say welcome back to Champlain College St. Lambert, Vanessa Grimaldi. Welcome How back. are you? You guys, this is so exciting. So whenever I go to the South Shore, I point out Champlain to my fiance. He's like, I know that's a building, Vanessa. You keep pointing it out. I'm like, those are the best years of my life. The best two years. I mean, come, coming out of high school, I went to a really small, I was part of the IB program at Laurie McDonald. So like we only really know our two classes and heading to Champlain, it's not like a huge Sejep, so like you all really know each other. So I just felt like an extension of high school and then getting to know a bunch of other people who I'm still friends with till this day. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, I have like the best memories at Champlain. Oh, well, yeah. we hope to capture some of those, Vanessa. So what I'm going to ask you to do now, you are in a very tropical room, but we're going to transform your room into some sort of a time machine. And we are going to go back to the fall of 2005. Oh, and if you can, I would like you to tell us exactly, Vanessa, what um, this person was thinking and share us uh, some of her experiences that she might have had. There we go. Oh, I remember that top, you guys. I used to sweat so much. <laughs> I had to put Kleenex under my armpits because I used to get like these big, massive sweat stains. Um, I remember that. I'm going to cry. Uh, Vanessa, back then, that's what, 2005, you said? The yeah. fall of 2005, yes. Uh, very excited to start something new. Um, I grew up in a small community, St. Leonard, predominantly Italian, and I was always really excited to learn about different cultures, religions, languages, and I felt like I got to experience all that at Champlain um, and get to meet so many friends, like I said, that I'm still very close to this day. Um, and I was such, I, I love school. I mean, I loved school back in, you know, 05. I still, you know, I, I, I just love school. So the library was my spot. Um, is it the band room in the middle of the Oh, room? yeah, we, uh, we changed the name. It's called the student space now, but the band ring. Yeah. Yes. So that was like where all my, you know, my friends who weren't hanging out with me in the library would hang out there. Um, I was just so excited to start college because I remember my sister, my sister went to Marinopolis and she mm. loved her experience there. Um, and I was just really excited to start something new and something fresh. I just don't remember where my locker is too. Yeah. It probably hasn't been cleaned since then. <laughs> no offense, our cleaners do a wonderful job. They do. Um, thank you so much, Vanessa, for sharing. Um, so if you guys don't know, which I'm sure all of you do, uh, Vanessa is actually super well known, obviously, for The Bachelor. Um, she, she's the winner of The Bachelor, I think season 21? 21. 21, yeah. 21. Um, she's also, as you know, a Champlain St. Lambert alumni represent, but she is really, really well known also within the special needs community as well. So here at Champlain, we have a program called our Adam Space Program, and it started back in 2005. And the vision, its vision is to promote the diversity, um, but to promote diversity by empowering young adults with disabilities to make choices in the pursuit um, to a successful uh, adult life and a successful future. Um, so you are really well known, as I mentioned, in the, in the special needs community. Um, you have an organization called No Better You. I was wondering if you'd be able to touch base a little bit of, and explain what, what that organization does, what it entails, and why did you decide working, decide to work with them, with um, individuals and students with special needs? So before going to Champlain, in Sec 4, uh, you get to shadow whatever profession you think you want to whatever career you think you want to pursue. And my mom was a teacher. Um, my sister wasn't teaching at the time, but anyway, we're all teachers in the family. 
And um, I, I don't know what it was, but I remember, I, I can't pinpoint what it was, but I remember saying, I want to be a spec ed teacher. And I shadowed a teacher at the Mackay Center in Montreal. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is what I want to do. Anyways, ended up veering in a different, totally different direction, ended up going into public affairs um, at Concordia, but then went back to university and got my degree at Ottawa U in spec ed. And it was, and still is like one of my favorite experiences ever being a teacher in the special education community and just working with students who love life. I mean, there, it, it was never like one bad day, even if days were hard and rough. It was always the most joyful of, of days with my students. And on the show, if you are not familiar with The Bachelor, there's an episode called uh, Hometown Dates. And that's when the last four women of the season get to put together what their ideal hometown experience would be for the lead of the show. And I knew, I'm like, I need to go see my students. I need my students to approve of this man. Because if my students don't approve, then like, I need to see what the vibe is. So Nick came to Galileo where I was teaching in, in Montreal and he met some of my students and um, that started to air, that was filming in November, I believe, or October. When you're on the show, by the way, it feels like one day feels like a month long because you're <laughs> stripped away from TV, from radio, from your phone, mm -hmm. like you don't know what's happening around the world. It was during the elections too. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what happened was we did, it was really funny, we did um, like a collage of pictures from when Nick and I had done a group date and we were, I was just like as, as a bride. So my students were like, oh my God, Miss Vanessa is a bride. Like she married this guy. This is the best day ever. We love him. We love him. We love him. Fast forward to January when the show actually airs, he's dating all these women. And the students were so confused. <laughs> oh, said, I know, it's the most confusing show ever. And they did not like him. Um, they were like, we don't approve of him anymore. Like, how is he kissing other women? How is he going on dates with other women? And that's when a lot of you who are listening can totally relate to this social media. Can I swear here? Okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. It could be a bitch. <laughs> and it was really hard the first, I would say, two years coming off of the show. I was the most insecure version of Vanessa I had ever been. The whole world was watching, judging. You know, you can have a hundred nice comments on a picture and that one mean one will stick by you. At least that's what it was doing to me. Psychologically, mm -hmm. it was just destroying me. Mm -hmm. And these are conversations I brought into the classroom with my students talking about bullying and online bullying and just being the best version of yourself, although other people might not approve of you. And that's when no better you, the idea of even just, I think that it was a phrase. I'm like, there's no better version of you. There's no better you. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh I need to start an organization with this name. Yeah. And that's how it started. Thank you so much for sharing that. I, I mean, if you wouldn't have, I would have never known that story. So, um, and neither would any of our many, many fans that watch our show. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for, uh, for sharing that with us today. I have so many follow-ups. First of all, No Better You, oh perfect name. Like, can, yeah. you picture, can you think of a better name for like your organization? It's just perfect. Um, <laughs> secondly, um, just to go back to your episode. So when Vanessa was on The Bachelor, of course she was uh, uh, from Montreal. So we loved her right away. And mm -hmm. um, I'm not really a crier but I probably lost about three liters of fluid when um, Vanessa brought Nick to see her students. Mm -hmm. They could not have been cuter. It was that perfect. One student, oh my God, dying. Yeah, Sheila, I may have made Sheila watch that yesterday. He did, and it was so sweet because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't watch The Bachelor, uh, maybe the first season, but then Scott is literally obsessed. Like, it's so weird. That's a strong word. <laughs> He's obsessed with it. Are you watching this season? I am, yes. I love I love. Say, this season is the most dramatic season. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think he keeps saying that, but I feel like he says that about all the seasons. So that's why I can't believe him. But now I will. I'll believe him when he says it now, Vanessa. Yeah. Um, so when he made me watch, uh, when he had me watch the episode where you had uh, Nick come to the classroom, it really, it really affected me. And I did all this other research and found out that 
although the bachelor is amazing, but you do so much more. There's so much more to you than, than just that show. So, um, and, and your work that you do with, uh, with, um, special needs community. So yes. congratulations for that. And thank you very much. As much as I love The Bachelor, yes, we, w we would not have Vanessa on this show if not for all her other wonderful work. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. But speaking of The Bachelor, Vanessa, I'm glad you brought it up because uh, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Let's do it. Uh, the first question, I guess, is another memorable uh, screen share I'm going to do. And I would like, again, for you to tell me, so you, as you said, there's so much behind the scenes stuff, you land in LA, all this crazy stuff happens, and then you get there on your first day and you see this come in. And what are you thinking? Do you just say like, I'm out of here? Or do you? Uh, oh my God. South Texas is, and I think will always be the most, like, you just look at her and laugh. Like she's just, she oozes like comedy. She's a funny human being. And I think night one, you're so, first of all, I don't drink. And they were like, have a shot before you walk out of the limo. And I'm like, oh my God, like I, I get my food. So I was like, fine. So I had a little bit of a shot and I'm, it helped ease the, the, the nerves. But night one is so freaking stressful. Like you don't know who's showing up. You only know like the five people who are in your limo. Um, and you kind of gravitate towards them once you're in the mansion. But seeing Alexis walk out with her shark, I don't even know if it's a shark or a dolphin at this point. She, I think she said it was a shark or dolphin, I think it was a dolphin. Anyway, it, it just like helped ease the, the, the anxiety, for me at least, I loved it. No, that's hilarious. Way. Definitely that's a, hilarious. a memorable moment on your show and, and thank you for sharing uh, some of the behind the scenes. Um, so um, I have another question and this may or may not have come from somebody in this Zoom call. <laughs> Um, we, <laughs> we know that you recently um, got engaged, engaged and congratulations, everybody's really excited for you and happy for you. Um, Thank you. But uh, people do want to know, um, are you and Nick still friends? Yes, yeah, Scott does want to know, are you and Nick still friends? <laughs> so the timing is so crazy. Um, I'm friends with, I would say all is a big word, but I'm pretty sure I'm friends or friendly with all of my exes. And Nick was the only ex that I wasn't friendly or friends with um, after the breakup. And I mean, it was a pretty significant breakup. It was a public mm -hmm. of engagement. Um, and this summer was when we reconnected that he had asked me to be on his podcast. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to mm -hmm. do the podcast unless like we talk on the phone before and just like reconnect, you know, and I'm happy that we did. And um, I'm happy I'm able to support him and his podcast and um so we weren't friends or friendly after well not you know what i'm happy that we were never on bad terms to the point where we would say mean things about each other mm -hmm. never. so that was something i really appreciated um and yeah so now we are friends scott <laughs> See, that's me when he got his home i'm like congratulations <laughs> All right. oh my gosh Thanks for outing me, Sheila. We're supposed to stay cool on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I told um, Sheila is to like keep it cool. Like I don't want to scare Vanessa off. You know, I want him to think like you know he's he's all right. He doesn't care that much about the Bachelor. <laughs> yes, you're really cool, Scott. <laughs> I love that you're a fan. Huge fan. Um, we have um, in the show always a um, a secret question. Secret question. Cool. <laughs> so we're throwing you, we're throwing you for a loop here. Um, this is a question that comes from me, and it was not, it did not come from Scott this time. Goodness. And I want your 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 professional opinion on this. Um, how do you think Scott would fare on The Bachelorette? I would say really well. Um, I would. My say Bachelorette pose right now. <laughs> God. I would say you'd have to act as if you don't know too much about the show. So you're mm -hmm. like, not like you're a fan, but you're not too much of a fan of it. Um, are you single? No. So no. then you do terribly. <laughs> <laughs> you hypothetical, <laughs> Vanessa Grimaldi. <laughs> Play off to my ego and forget everybody else. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, Kai. Great. You do great. I mean, listen, if you're someone who actually wants to find love and believes in love and believes in the process, you and anyone who has that mentality will do good. Mm. I just want to meet Chris Harrison. Yeah, Mr. I want, I want him to say this is the most dramatic season ever. He would, because every season he says it's the most dramatic. But I will say, this season of The Vast Red is the most dramatic. Man, you guys are getting me into it. I feel like can I should watch it. A, can I ask you another secret question and you can answer or not answer? Secret question! <laughs> so when you were single, how many like cheesy, how many times did someone offer you a rose? Oh, never. Mm. I was talking about this when I was, when um, I had, when I was on the podcast with uh, Dean and Jared. I never got, a, like, never is a big word. I didn't get approached as often as people thought I was getting approached when I was single. Mm. Like no one was sliding him into my fiance slid into my DMs. But before him, there was like maybe a handful of people who slid into my DMs. And I was like, everybody oh, missed out. <laughs> so many anybody. people are like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much, hey, Vanessa, for joining us today. Uh, we like to get obviously extremely silly, uh, but we were asking some serious questions. So thank you very much for, for being on our web series with us today. Scott, I know you definitely want to thank Vanessa. Go I, ahead. <laughs> I would like to just rein it back a little bit. Everybody yeah. like pretend like maybe the last 15 minutes didn't happen. <laughs> and you know, Vanessa, as much as we joke again about uh, The Bachelor, and I do like The Bachelor, obsessed is a strong word. I'm sorry. I'm not like reading People magazine and most mm. of the time when like their 15 minutes are over, I kind of like move on. But when I did find out you were a Champlain alumni and found mm. out, uh, you know, I knew you were a special ed teacher from the show, but found out about this project, you were definitely someone we wanted to have on the show because I think um, a lot of people when they go on these shows, doesn't go that well for them but I think you've made the best of your situation as you said you went through a rough two years and mm -hmm. and you've come out the other side and are, are just doing amazing things so thank you thank you so much and I don't think I actually even describe what no better you does but <laughs> I'll say it I'm like yes sentences. go ahead you raise money to help build sensory rooms in schools uh, which are therapeutic spaces for students who may have a learning difficulty or who have a diagnosis and it just really helps ease them back into the classroom or um, they can bring the lesson and the tutorials into the sensory room and they can learn from there. And I've heard, and yesterday I think I got an email from one of the parents, there's so many amazing um, things that come out of it. Students who've never said a word before are now trying to communicate and are able to communicate. So we opened up four rooms in Montreal. We're donating $20,000 in a school in Toronto. Um, and we have, I mean, I suck at fundraising. So if anyone has a dollar to donate, please donate it or 50 cents, anything. I'll take anything I'm that desperate. I'm, just, I'm really bad at, at fundraising. Um, but our goal is to help as many schools that need it. That's great. So if, if, people were wanting to donate um, or get in contact, how would they do that? Where would they, where would they go? Our website is www.nobetteryou.org or you can find us on Instagram at nobetteryou. Perfect. Thank you so much, Vanessa, for joining it's us today. Fun. so fun. I wish this was in person. I would love to come back oh. into school and visit. Yes. We would love that as well. Well, when we, well, we're going to hold you to that because uh, when we are back in the building, we will definitely send you an invitation your way. I would love to. Nice. And um, for those of you guys that still want to follow our little web series, we post on Tuesdays on, and Thursdays on our Champlain St. Lambert YouTube page. So follow us there. Scotty, would you like to um, say any final words? Thank you, Miss Grimaldi. Have a wonderful <laughs> day. <laughs> a pleasure. We have my email now, so just reach out whenever. There you go. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much.